hive yesterday. Uh, the quality didn't come out very good because I was live streaming it from my phone and we're out in the country, so kind of uh, hard to, uh, I guess, upload and uh, it came out real grainy and I apologize, but we're gonna try to do a new and improved today. So I'm here with Mr. Sam from South Carolina Happy Bees. Hi y'all. And uh, we're gonna do some hive inspections and I'm gonna pick his brain because he's my mentor. And if you need some nukes this coming spring, uh, Mr. Sam does offer them. And uh, Sam, if you wanna give him your information, Okay, I'm Sam from South Carolina Happy Bees. Uh, you get in touch with me by going to, well, you go mostly by the Gmail. You can go to 60winner at gmail.com. That's 60winner at gmail.com. Or you can call me 803-546-5981. It's 803-546-5981. And when are you expecting that you might have some the first round available the good weather we're having now will probably be the first of april because i don't like selling bees until i know they're right and the queen is good and she's laying proper and they're her bees and all be all my queens and bees and everything else is raised right here in hopkins south carolina i don't get nothing from florida and that's about it so we're ready for the first inspection here okay this is a nuke box I take most of my, my big hives and break them down into a little five frame nuke box for winters. And this is just this is feed up here. A little camp sugar. Sure getting a little upset today. Might Maybe be my smoker. Might be my camera right there. It could be your camera. We was out here yesterday and they were just fantastic little girls. It's a little windy today. It could be what it is. And we don't we don't use very much smoke. I don't like it. Y'all, I took my first bee sting yesterday, like a champ. He did real good. Didn't holler, scream, run, or nothing. <laughs> I'm officially a beekeeper. Oh, maybe I'm blocking. Are they trying to get behind me back here, maybe to one of these other hives? That's what he is. He won't pass me. Some of them. But this is just sugar on top of paper towels. I don't like using newspaper because it has ink in it and they're under there eating that's a pretty packed out looking little nuke right there yeah considering it's uh what fourth day of february <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's doing pretty good yeah now, but you take them and you push your frames all the one way Some people that go to the middle right here to pull out and see what they got, that's a good chance of killing your queen and rolling bees. Okay, that's the outside frame. This is drone frame here. This is worker. This is honey. So that one right there, you can see that there's bigger drone comb right. built right in and then the worker comb here is smaller. Right. And if they're not using this here and they got a honey float, they'll fill that up. So they're gonna clean and polish it up? Clean, polish it up, and be done with that. That side there is closer to the center and it has more bees on it and it has also more honey down here. We have nectar, we have honey, we have nectar, and nectar here, pollen in here. Yeah, look at that girl right there, it's got some pollen on her. Yeah. In February. Yeah, it's 70, I think it was 70 degrees in my car when I came over. It yeah. was 77, 78 yesterday. Yep. Today's supposed to be cooler than yesterday. <laughs> as long as it's 55 degrees, the bees are doing okay. One thing I noticed uh, different that Mr. Sam does than, than a lot of people that I've seen on YouTube and other places is he'll pull one out and set the other one right in. He doesn't set them to the side. I haven't seen him sitting on the ground Never. or anything. Never sit a beehive on the ground or frame on the ground. There's one there bringing in a lot of problems. Yeah, I saw that. Where'd you go? She went around to the back right there. There's one. But all this, this is honey. This is capped honey up here. Then there's nectar over here. Nectar over here. Nectar or sugar water. It could be sugar water because I feed my bees. Well, I know there, there's some at my house, wild bees, that are... Uh, 
hitting the nectar over there. Yeah. Now this one, this is capped honey. This is a little girl bringing in some pollen. She probably had a long flight. She come back, she's eating a little bit first. She's hungry. But she's this got is this, pollen on her. Yeah, this is cat. Yeah, she's got pollen on her legs. This is pollen down here. They'll mix the pollen with the honey to make bee food to feed the babies. Can you hold that frame right about here? Yeah. And that way you they might be able to see all the glistening nectar in the in the comb there. There's a lot in there. A lot in there. Most of it's over here on and, this side. Which, and bee bread. A lot of bee, bee bread. pollen yep. in there. They're getting ready. I'm bringing that in for the new babies that's going to be coming. And hopefully we got some brood on the next frame. Yep. I saw it. I saw it. I snuck it. peeked it. Yeah. I saw some brood down there. Look at that. And another thing, if you're checking your bees, try to check them right over the hive. So they fall back in. Yeah. If they fall off, if you lose a queen, she falls on the ground, usually you'll step on her. I don't know why you always step on it, but you always step on it. Okay. Sure you got a larvae in there too. Yeah, let's make sure we ain't got no queen up here. Up here we have the nectar, pollen. All this right here is capped brood. This is honey, pollen down here. Some nectar in there. All this in here is capped, laid out. Got eggs in it. And, yeah, I see and, some larvae in there too. And larvae. A lot of pollen down there. Look at a ring of pollen. Yeah, pollen here. This is brood. They've got egg. Can you see the eggs laid out in there? I can see if you hold it up to the camera about right there, you probably they might be able to nectar. see it up in there. Got nectar. Got a little bit of everything in there. A little bit of everything. No, no honey on that. Well, they've got some nectar, so they'll probably. They got nectar. So babies are ready. In two weeks. This hive here will be slam they will, packed. They will, yeah. Most people in two weeks would be adding frames to this. But we wanted to, we're trying to get it to make some drones, right? Yeah, we're trying to get it to make a drone. Simulate a swarm basically inside conditions and then split it out. Yep, so we want it packed so she'll, she'll start laying eggs for drones. That one there is pretty much laid out. It's got some pollen in it. Got drones in it. I mean, no drones. A little girl right there who's got a bunch of bunch of pollen on her. Yeah, I thought I just saw a drone, but might not have been. She, she's laid out. pollen as he gets up to eat too before she's just trying to get a snack before she uh before she goes drops it off drops it off before she goes back out yep and i take my frames and sometimes my brain don't work properly so i mark an end so the frame goes back in the same way it come out and that way it it works better why does it work better? Well, because she's got brood on this side, she doesn't have brood on this side, and it gets cold. They're in the wrong place, and they can freeze. And we don't want to do that. A lot of pollen girls on there. A lot of them on there. Got pollen on their legs. See them all over here? Pollen, pollen, pollen. Yep, that whole frame is just about right there. Pollen. Ladies with pollen. Yep, that whole frame is just about total pollen. This is honey, nectar. A beetle. High beetle on your hood there. Yeah. Did um I didn't see any drone comb. And I haven't seen I haven't spotted a queen yet. But if you got the signs of it, you really don't need to spot her too much. Right? Yeah. As long as you can see the uh the eggs and the larva. As long as you see eggs, you know she's been in there within depends on the size of the egg. Drone? That's a big one. Big bee. Over the Yeah, if there's, as long as you see the evidence of a queen, usually you pretty much got it. If you just see cap grown, I mean cap brood in there, it doesn't mean that you got a queen. Because that could have been three weeks ago. Could have been three weeks ago. You got to make sure that you see eggs. But that's them. And then I, 
carefully put your sugar back on. Put my sugar back on. I have, I put a uh, half inch rabbit wire underneath here. And that makes it where you can pull it out. If you put just a paper up there and just the sugar. It sticks to the frames. It sticks to the, the frames. Make it to the bottom of the hive. What I've noticed being out here is the uh, bees aren't that picky. Mm. I've seen you use coffee filters, paper towels. Yep. But you don't use newspaper? I do not use newspaper. I don't use anything with ink in it. I personally wouldn't want to chew on something with ink on it. And I, I like my bees. I treat my bees like people. If you treat the bees like you think you would like to be treated, usually they're pretty calm. So and what you're saying is if you if you had to eat a paper product, you would prefer to eat regular non-ink paper towels? Not that <laughs> Paper towels or a paint filter. And they can tear it apart and they'll fly off with it. Or it'll fall down to the bottom and they'll get pushed out the front. Yep, and I, I have vent holes cut in my thing because in the wintertime, people talk about moisture. We got, we got holes in here on both sides. Some of them got both sides of both ends. But if you put moisture kill bees in the, uh, in the wintertime, because wintertime. you get winter, you got cold, same thing you catch in pneumonia, and you die. And bees will do the same thing. And if you've ever been in something warm in something like a metal roof or something, it starts leaking when the inside starts warming up. It starts sweating like a beer can. They do the same thing here. Mm -hmm. If you don't have something here to catch it, it uh it falls in there. Which can make your hive run off. Make the hive run off. And it drop in there, you get moisture in the hive so the, with this, see the, the the water will drop down on this, make this soft. The sweat, bees sweat people. The sweat from the bees will come up and it'll get underneath here and that's where they, they start eating. See, they've eaten all this, they've eaten this, and they've eaten all this over here. But they're okay for another week or so before I put more food in there. That was that one. Stokey. This middle one don't have an entrance on this side, so I'll And this is just a, I don't like inner covers because it lets all kind of critters in there. And it went out when I, a long time ago. I put, made them out of screen. That way I could look at them without bothering them. But that was during the time when I knew that bees would eat me. <laughs> it's a little tiny hive beetle. If it was, it ain't no more. You gave him the finger trap. I did. I gave him the finger test. I gave the beetle the finger. There you and go. And he did not survive. Now this one doesn't. It's not as big as that one. But then that one has been around for a while. This one has, but that doesn't matter. And now, now. I hear them. They seem louder than the other hive? Yeah. A lot of times that means that the queenless doesn't have a queen. Just could be that they got aggravated last night. Maybe a bug come up in there, or a lizard, or maybe a possum, or something. This empty, pretty much empty. This is drone cell. This is a little bit of honey. A lot more honey on that side. Okay, we have sugar water or nectar in here. Over here we have capped honey and nectar. We're getting close to the queen. This one right here has got pollen, nectar, Honey, no brood yet. 
and about the same side, same thing on that side. But they have food, so they should get through the winter okay. And the early spring. Usually they'll die in March because of starvation. Because they'll start brooding See a up. A couple drone brood or some couple couple either brood or drone on there. Yeah, that's that's worker brood. She's got eggs in there, she's got larvae in there. Got honey up here, and down here she will lay eggs in. Well, yeah, she has eggs and larvae in there. Still don't see the queen. But she has eggs and larvae in here, honey here. So she's doing okay for this time of the year. has a honey and the pollen on here and we didn't see a queen but it goes you know there's eggs in here so I don't worry about it and she may have just started laying again because maybe she didn't have enough bees to start with during a little cold snap we have and we have warm so now she's laying eggs I should have holes drilled into this. Mm -hmm. Why don't you stand for that? Mm -hmm. But just didn't do it. <laughs> Sometimes the day just ain't long enough. The reason I'm putting this on in there is so I'll know where it's at. Come on, move. Film in 4K, 30 frames a second. 4K. 4K, ultra 4K. Okay. You're in high def, Mr. Sam. I is. And this is what happens to little bees when they get caught in here between the screen. This one, they've just about eaten all of that. That's a good sign, though. It's a good sign. That means they're growing. See, see that paper there, it's kind of wet. That's from the bees' humidity they're making when they got down to 40 last night and yep. their heat Indeed. makes some condensation. Yep. Which then soaks up into the sugar, which hardens it like a sugar cube where it doesn't fall through. That's it. Until they eat all the paper away. And then it all falls. Okay. Get off of this. Now you make a bunch of different marks. I see frames that got red dots on them, yellow dots. Yeah. When I first started, my queens were red that year. So I had the red paint, so I was putting red dots on them. This year, what I'm going to do is put blue dots on my new ones. So you know when, when it was queen? Yeah. So if you guys need some uh, nukes this spring, uh, you can email Mr. Sam at 60winner at gmail.com. That's 60winner, W-I-N-N-E-R, at gmail.com. He'll be happy to hook you up with a nuke. Yeah. It's yeah. local delivery. Yeah, pick up. Uh, but that was all nectar and honey and pollen and Stuff. That's the one of their grocery stores. I was trying, Mr. Sam, not to block the girls, but it's not. Okay. They don't realize that's that back door. Anymore. You could actually bring that up a little bit more if you want to. Looks good. Some groceries for them. Yeah, some people ask me, if they got all this food, why don't they build a frame out? 
bees are cool bees. I mean, they don't build, they're not like people. They don't build things that they don't need. But now as soon as they need that space, they'll, they'll fill it in with honeycomb. Or bee baby comb. And when you go look at somebody else's bees and they come out wearing a suit, <laughs> don't buy your bees from them. Because if they're that afraid of their bees, gonna, oh, she's doing a little waggle dance right there. See that girl right over here? Yeah, that one. Mm hmm. Yeah, this one. See if you can hold that up there to the camera and they can see the wiggle. Let me see if I can help direct. Let me see. It didn't take me long to find her a minute ago. She ain't wiggling now. She ain't wiggling no more? No, she's just walking around. But that is all brood. And I mean some honey on there, nectar and pollen too, but all that in the middle. You see, we'll shake her little booty again. Where's she at? Right there. Oh, uh, this right up from where she was. Straight, right there from, by straight from my phone. Yeah, she just ain't got nobody's attention. There she goes again. Okay, she's getting people's attention now. See her? She walks around shaking to say, hey, hey, hey. Mm hmm. But that's, that's, this is so cool. That's the second frame and that's the brood frame now. It's There's one on just shaking sides. her little booty too. Oh yeah, see her right here. See her? Yeah. Watch her. See if we can catch her waggling some more. She done. She done. She's done. She done told him Did a little it. dance. You ain't figured it out yet, you don't need it. Did a little dance. And when you pull your frames out, you don't want to keep them out too long. If it's too hot, you'll kill the brood. If it's too cold, you'll kill the brood. Look in your hives, see what you need, and put them back in there, and quit. There's a little, little baby right there that fell. I'll get her. She can't fly. There she is. Oh, she keeps jumping off. Yeah. I'm trying to help you, girl. Just come on with me. And she flew off and... No, oh, she flew. She did? Mm-hmm. She just didn't know she was flying. Now, there's a drone. There's a drone. Big boy. Lumbering around there. Yeah. And this is all brood. It's a good queen. This would be one that I make... And all this down here is lobby and egg. But this is one that I'll be making queens off of. Because of her pattern? Yep, she's a good queen. And she got good bees. I mean, that one over there, I probably won't make no queens off it unless she picks up a lot. Is that the one that dive bombed me yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Just no randomly, problem. we were standing in bees forever, talking about how gentle they was. That one, and yeah. one of them just didn't like me. That one, I'll probably make queens off her. She's a good, 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 good girl. She didn't like me. She raised, <laughs> she raised, she raised good guard bees. I wasn't even. I was standing in the middle of the aisle, and I just out of nowhere, zap! I was like, oh, okay. It's like that now. I, I told Mr. Sam I can officially be a beekeeper now because I've been stung once. See, there's another one full of nectar. Now, that one, to me, looks like it could be almost honeybound. This hive? No, well, that frame in particular, because yeah. it's got nectar everywhere, but where... With see, these. and now they're even backfilling in here, mm -hmm. in the brood. There's a queen. See the queen? Uh, I'd Put your finger right. Right. In the middle. Put it in the middle. It's right there. I don't see her. Still, I'm blind. You got your finger right Oh, right there. Okay, I see her now. I was looking the wrong place. Yeah. And she's a dark queen. She's a good queen. I mean, Italians and yeah, all them are good too, but th that's a Hopkinized bee here. Hopkinized. We live in the country. This is the country bees. They live through the winter. They have good brood. They're pretty hygienic, keep the bottom cleaned out. I'm not gonna say they'll kill mites and they'll kill beetles. 
That one's got a lot of nectar or syrup in it. See, she will be building, she will probably be building on a drone sales next Ooh week. We look how, uh, hopefully, I'm pretty sure they can when it's in 4K. Yeah. See all that shining? Because I know I can see it standing back here. They are loading it down, son. And this is what we make nukes out of, people. You come by here, you buy a nuke, you look at the nuke before you take it home. You're not going to buy a box and take it home and get home and see what you got. You're going to see what you got before you leave here. You're going to see the queen walking on the frame. And I will tell you this because I've looked all over since this will be my first beat. Mr. Sands reasonable on his price. So... I am one of those uh, science nerds that's got a YouTube and Amazon and look at every supply company and, and know how to use it and yeah and know how to use it and look at ways to reinvent the wheel and I, I saw something somebody said it I'm, I'm I'm not sure if it was Cayman Reynolds or not but somebody said don't let don't let YouTube kill your bees They'll do don't it. don't try to reinvent the wheel <laughs> <laughs> you get you get more people on YouTube that says things that what I'm doing here is not right, according to most people. I think the bees tell you if it's right or not. I said the bees tell me if I'm right or wrong, and they're, they they know a lot more about raising bees than I do, so I just go along with them. Sometimes I mess up, and that's okay. Now I can tell definitely from when I came out here. The first, second time, third time, <laughs> mm -hmm. fifth time, whatever. Uh, but it was over the winter and it was colder. And it would get up to like 55, 58 and we'd be in here and you'd be treating the bees. That I can definitely tell that they've grown since then. You know, because I mean, some of them I was like, man, that's got, this seems like a cup of bees in there <laughs> almost. But that's because I hadn't seen it before. So I didn't have any reference point on yeah. what to compare it to if that was normal. I mean, winter downsize, or if that was, you know, I didn't know. Yep. Well, that little one over there. Yeah. See, they'll pick up that one. It's just a little high. Up.